Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to another Sims 4 news video. This is about the Curse Forge mod hub going live for The Sims 4 on Monday, November 14th, which The Sims did tweet about. But I'm also going to talk about who this is for and sort of what the timeline for things is from what I can tell. So first off, this is for Windows and Mac users and it is only the actual site that has gone live right now, not the actual mod manager. So when they first announced this in the Behind the Sims Summit, I had hoped that this meant that mods were coming to console users, um, but they did specify at that time that that wasn't the case, that this was for Windows and Mac players. But perhaps maybe since this is going to be a curated site for uh, mods and custom content, Maybe that's a sign that eventually mods and custom content will come to console. We can only hope. So here is the first tweet that The Sims did. We're live on Overwolf for The Sims 4 game modifications and custom content. Creators, join the Curse Forge mod squad and share your content. So the Curse Forge is like the site where you get the mods and then the mod manager is Curse Forge, but Overwolf is who overviews and uh, the the site and whatnot. So that's from what I can tell the distinction between the two. They also then, the Sims that is, went on to tweet to say, learn all about the Curse Forge mod squad and custom content hub for the Sims 4 today. And they did a blog post about it, which is essentially a good introduction to mods and custom content and as well as to the Overwolf platform Curse Forge, which there tells you a bit of the difference. So uh, it essentially goes on and talks about um, mods and custom content and how it can be fun and whatnot. But one point I want to highlight here is that they wanted to remind any mod users that choosing to access mods outside of Curse Forge may pose more risks. Always back up your data and proceed with caution as you venture into the world of mods. But this can be helpful if you're new to the world of mods and custom content because it gives you somewhere to start that you know has been essentially curated by the uh, EA's partner Overwolf. They then went on to give some definitions of some terms that are commonly seen, one being user-generated experiences or user-generated content, which essentially the mods and custom content are things that are created by the users. Uh, mods is a general term for player made content, which modifies the game. And then you have game mods, which adds new gameplay features or changes for how the game functions. Um, they're also sometimes called script mods. They add new script code. There are also things called tuning mods, which aren't mentioned here. They just tune things a little bit as opposed to completely changing things. And of course you then have custom content, which is often abbreviated to CC. And that gives you lots of things like hairs, accessories, build by objects and furniture. And then of course you then have the maxis match versus the alpha CC and maxi match matches sort of the game and alpha tends to be more realistic and detailed. Of course, neither is wrong, but you have to keep in mind that if you do want to use alpha CC due to its detailed nature, it requires more computer processing power and may cause performance issues. So you probably better use that type of custom content if you have a stronger computer. And then they have more details and links there. Of course, I will link to the tweets and the blog post and anything else in the description down below. They then go on to talk about The Sims 4 and Overwolf and they just talk about how there's a lot across multiple platforms and as a beginner finding mods and custom content can be frustrating so this is hopefully gonna you know help with that and then also they show a video from Carl Sims on installing mods and custom content so if you are new you might want to go check that out. So Overwolf will provide players with a safe moderated custom content hub to download and share player creations with the community so essentially it's just making it a little bit easier. However you can continue you to use and get mods and custom content the same way that you do because this is a supplementary experience it's not exclusive so you don't have to use it so as of the 14th there are lots of mods and custom content on the website but the actual app the curse 
Ford Mod Manager. While it's going to be a tool that's going to be a huge asset to mod and custom content users, it goes through some of the reasons. The main one I would think would be the ability to automatically detect and remove broken or duplicate mods and manage mod updates that is going to be released in an open beta soon. It says within the next few months and to be sure to keep an eye on Overwolf and Curse Forge news. That said, I'll talk about that a little bit later because there are different timelines I've seen mentioned on the site the Overwolf slash CurseForge site, but, and a tweet with respect to Mac users that I'll discuss when I get there. But also there's a CC festival going on that um, they're doing for creators for the holiday season called CC Festival. And there's a link there for details on how to enter for a chance to win some prizes for creating and voting. So there is that. Now the actual website is available and it does have, you know, almost a thousand mods and custom content so obviously and i show there some of the total the top downloaded mods as of now uh and then also i show some of the top downloaded custom content just to give you a feel for what's on the site and who is on the site and again Here's that was custom content for Sims, create a Sim, and then here is some custom content for build by mode, just the top ones on the first page, but they all have a few multiple pages. The one that has the most pages was the custom content for Sims. But um, one thing I did notice that is if you are an MCCC user, they only have actual MCCC. They don't have MC Woohoo on the site. I scrolled through all of the pages and I did not see it there. However, these do link back to the original creator. So you can always go there and get things that are missing because of course these mods and custom content cannot change the game rating and I guess maybe MC Woohoo is a little bit um, there where it does so I'm not really sure but moving on when I did test download MCCC it did prompt me to try and download the Curse Forge mod manager so I did just because if you do download it you will see that Sims 4 is not in there yet it does mention a number of games uh, that's not one nor did I expect it because I was of the understanding that the mod manager wasn't available yet both from that blog post which actually says a few months out but if you go to their timeline they say December 6th, the Sims 4 mod manager becomes open beta. Now I'm not sure because of course the blog post said in the next few months, which I wouldn't consider December 6th, the next few months. I'd consider it it's less than a month away. I also saw a tweet. I didn't see this at the time. I saw this after the fact, but this tweet was right around the Behind the Sims Summit when this announcement was made. And someone was saying that mod management will be through the CurseForge app, which is for PC and Mac. But the person from Overwolf replied and said, indeed, it is through the CurseForge app. And then they said when they first released the Sims 4 mod support beta on November 14th, it's not November 14th per their site. So I think that's a mistake there. It should be December 6th. It will support PC only with support for Mac coming later, early next year probably. So I am not sure about the timing of any of it because their website said December 6th and then this says Mac coming later early next year probably and of course the EA blog post said in the next few months. So hopefully it'll come soon enough. I'm still a little bit, you know, kind of pondering as to how it's actually going to work, but we'll find out more later. Uh, most of my mods, apart from MCCC, aren't on the site. And when I did download MCCC from the site, it actually put it into my downloads folder. And obviously you could probably, I think you could choose where it went. I can't remember. <laughs> it didn't really matter I was just testing it which I preferred I prefer to be able to control putting it where I want but from a making it easy for uh someone new doesn't strike me as that easy really it means you still need to know what you're doing but anyways let me know if you've checked out the site and what you think about it and if you're planning on using it exclusively or if you're going to use it to supplement or not use it all in a comment down below but that's going to be it for this video likes and comments are always appreciated and they really help with the algorithms thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye